Blood on the plow, there'll be blood on the scarecrow, blood on the plow. Well, Trace, it's great news. James Bondell is back on the road and uh, he's teamed up. We played last week or the week before we played him doing the um, fantastic cover of the old John Cougar Mellencamp song, Mm -hmm. Rain on the Scarecrow with the Wolf Brothers. And I'm so pleased to say that James joins us now. Thanks for joining us tonight, James, and congratulations on what is a very haunting version of a great song. Oh, look, thank you very much, but I wouldn't mind knowing who I'm talking to. There's some sexy devil has moved into the studio with you there, Tracy. The voice. He thinks he he thinks he's some sex god, but he's not. He definitely as is as, not. As long as he's not wearing a feather boa. Oh, if he does, I'm, I'm taking photos and we're sharing. Because if it didn't happen, That's if it didn't go on Facebook. No, that, 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 mate, you just sound amazing. But yeah, look, <laughs> I've always, and I think I might have actually said to you that I've always rated Scarecrow the album as the best country rock album ever made. Because even though it was written about Midwest America, it just related so well to everything that I and my colleagues had grown up with in the bush. And to get a chance to sing that song, because I've been predominantly driven by my writing, it's just, it was a, a real uh, liberty to, to step back and just sing songs that I and my record boss Karen Waters thought really benefited being stripped back so the words could really come forward. Songs like Born to Survive and Cane Fields and Scarecrow could just move, doesn't matter where in the world you go, they they just apply, don't they? Absolutely, and, and I'm a huge Springsteen fan, and I think that some of those songs, the three you just mentioned, Point and Case, is that they nearly suffer from overexposure where they become a part of the tapestry that for a while they lose their punch and then uh, then they get, a, they get a new lease of life and on the album Scarecrow is on, Blowing in the Wind is the last track. Now, if someone had told me five years ago that I'd record Blowing in the Wind, so I can't see any circumstance under which that had happened, but it was represented to me through the eyes of an 18-year-old girl who'd done a support act and to her it was just a pop song that she knew, people knew, but had no idea where it sat in the world of music and social change and blah, blah, blah. So the songs do have a... a, a tremendous longevity. All the tracks on the album are of that ilk. I spent 25 years of my life on and off in Sydney, being close to airports and studios and blah, blah. Anybody who's ever staggered out of a nightclub in the cross in the middle of winter on a grey day, the, the words in Breakfast at Sweethearts are just applicable. You can actually mm. smell, you know, breakfast starting in the cross there. It's, it's just a brilliant song. The album's called Campfire, James Blundell, 2017. This is going to be a cracker year for you because you're doing Victoria, you're going through Queensland. And the thing we found out about Queensland is you're doing a lot of the, the bush areas. You know, we're going to Bill Wheeler, we're going to Birdsville, yeah. Inglewood. We love the places you're going to. You know, it used to be sort of part of the standard touring schedule. It backed off a bit when on-road costs got really prohibitive. But the beauty of Campfire, we tour it as a three-piece. So it's just an easy album to tour. It, it's really applicable. If the PA breaks down, we can just say, well, that's how it's supposed to be played anyway. So it's a big year for releases in general because Campfire came out on the 2nd of February. The, the album I've written will be a sort of August, September release and at the end of the year we're putting together an anthology covering 30 years of music go as far back as get you back pub and as far forward as songs on the new album Jack and Jill which is the one forthcoming yeah? I was looking at the areas and Tracy said uh, Inglewood and I said I think that's supposed to be the Ingleburn RSL she said no no Inglewood <laughs> <laughs> and then I look it's Inglewood, Queensland, mate. I think it's got a standing population of about twelve hundred people. Oh, that'd kill me. There's more than that there now, but it's never been a huge place. Tracy Sorry. spent some time living out at Warwick for two years, so she was oh, a, okay. so she was a regular visitor out to there in Gundy and the whole thing. So yeah, you can't go wrong with those little places. They've got more fun in a per square meter than the capital city. Well, that's it. And you know, when they find out that James Blundell's coming, we're going to put a night on. We're going to have a shindig. They don't just come from Inglewood. They come from everywhere. It's absolutely right. Uh, it's one of the main reasons that the smaller towns are on the tour list is, you know, I grew up with that. You'd, you'd wait three or four months for something coming to town and you would have people turning up all over the place. When we played a lot of BMSs, you'd, you'd turn up at the place in the afternoon to sound check and there would be no one. By dark, just on dark, there'd be 6,000 people and by 11 o'clock next morning, they'd all gone home to work, you know. So people will travel for a good party. Well, Red Rebel Music have got a whole of you this year. James Blundell, Campfire, new album, guys. Get on to James's Facebook pages, onto his websites. Grab a hold of the album. Get it now before he hits the tour in your area. Because let me tell you, he's covering a lot of areas. So he will be there. <laughs> and he's going to be watching who's singing those songs back. So grab a hold of the album. Get it today. Learn the songs and sing along with James as he goes on this tour. You can get out there and half your songs are being sung. You, you can just relax. Just let the crowd sing for you. 
<laughs> James, thanks very much for joining us tonight. Good luck on the tour. I'm sure everyone's going to see you somewhere around Australia. Fantastic to see so many dates out there. And uh, we will keep an eye on as how things are going. And also, the album, you can grab it now. It's out now, Campfire. And you've got teamed up with some fantastic artists as well on that one. Congratulations on everything. And let's hope for the biggest 2017 you can imagine. Thank you very much. And Darren, I hope you get well soon, mate. But I still, I've been pushing that feather bar idea. It'll, it'll go <laughs> Well, with the whole overall, you know, well, the, the overall sort of demeanour. Well, I like that idea, but I reckon the next time you're planning a surf day up or up on the coast, you're going to have to come in on a Wednesday night, come and do some songs <laughs> yeah, live in the studio to. with us. I will do that. That would be a lot of fun. Well, for now, here's James Blundell and Rain on the Scarecrow. Blood on the Scarecrow, blood on the plow, blood on the Scarecrow, blood on the plow.